What's up, everybody? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. So you're one of those people out there who only has one of these for your budget, but you still want a nice gaming mouse? Let's check out the GX M4 Enhanced and see if it's worth your 20 bucks. Like I said, the Enhanced GX M4 is a $20 mouse, but it does have some pretty decent features for being such a low priced entity. For one thing, it has adjustable DPI from 800 to 2400 DPI, the adjustable buttons right on the top so it's easy to locate. You also get five buttons for control of your in-game adventure. Two of the control buttons are located on the side, two are located on the top, and the scroll wheel also doubles as a control button. And there's also seven blinking LED lights that constantly change colors as you're playing your games. The GX M4 also connects via your USB port, and I would have to say the overall size of the mouse is pretty much made for medium sized hands. It's not too large, it's not too small, it's pretty much right in the middle. As far as comfort goes and control goes, the GX M4 is pretty comfortable. It's obviously not reinventing the wheel and it's not something that you're gonna go crazy about, but neither is it anything bad that you're gonna complain about either. But the really big thing that matters is how does it actually work in in-game playing, and it does just fine. I know some people out there will consider it a definite caveat to not have a higher adjustable DPI, but for me, 800 to 2400 DPI works pretty well. I know there are a lot of people out there that are professional gamers looking for that serious killer headshot and you want more DPI, but this mouse is definitely geared for the budget or casual gamer. But if you're looking for a mouse that definitely has looks that your friends will talk about, the GX M4 definitely has it down in that category. You guys can see that even though the lights don't adjust, they still look pretty cool. And since it changes to seven different colors, eventually it'll get to yours. So check it. Obviously, this mouse isn't the most professional killer gaming mouse on the planet. You can get obviously a way better mouse if you want to invest that extra cash. But for 20 bucks, the GX M4 offers some pretty cool features that other mice don't have. And if you don't have a lot of money and you're looking for something that'll just have you covered, hey, you can't go wrong with spending $20 because if anything happens even, it's not like you spent a lot of money. Now, the good things about this mouse are that it's really low priced. It also has, like I said, five control buttons for you to control stuff. None of them have programmable macros or anything like that, but just for simple in-game controls, it works just fine. I mean, you guys can see as far as looks go, I think this thing looks pretty nifty. I know there's gonna be some haters out there gonna go, I hate that, and just some, you know, you can't avoid them, they're gonna be out there. But personally, I think it looks pretty cool. Now, like I said, there are some drawbacks. One of the major drawbacks that I don't like about the GXM4, and this is just my personal opinion, is the fact that nowhere on it can you change the weight adjustment. I like a really heavy mouse, this lights this mouse actually, excuse me, is very, very light. So if you like a light mouse, this might be something you're like, hey, okay, I really like that. But for me personally, I like being able to change the weight adjustment and make it to be as heavy as I like it to be. So it's like sitting on the table. Like I said, five buttons controllable, but none of them you can program. So it's not programmable. Also, like I said, I know you guys out there like a much higher DPI rate, 800 to 2400 DPI might not be your thing, but if you don't really care about that, and especially if you're just playing games like The Sims or stuff like that, or some light, you know, first person shooters, you'll be just fine. But at the end of the day, it's $20. It's pretty much throwaway money at that point. And I think for that amount of price, I think it's a winner. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm Elric. All the details and everything will be down there as well. Also, you guys have been hearing me talk about it pretty much in a lot of my videos lately about this new N. ZXT cam software. We're actually doing a build. We're going to bring you guys all the details on how to operate it, how to use their Hue lighting system. But all the details for this mouse plus that will be linked all there down below that like button. And if you like what you see, hey, sub, and I'll see you in your sub box.